Good afternoon. Welcome to Vale Park. Mr Sheldrake, the referee, leads out Port Vale and Swindon Town, respectively. And Mr Sheldrake standing in between his two linesmen, Mr Barrow and Mr Oldham. And as the handshakes take place in the middle of the park before this afternoon's battle commences. We've got two young men at the front there. Jake Wood is six years old on the 10th of November. He's from Ball Green. He goes to Ball Green Primary School. His favourite player is Sean Rigg. He likes football. An additional info I've got here is happy birthday, Jake. And his proud parents looking on from the sidelines. Our other mascot is Jack Reeves Jones, eight years old tomorrow. He's from Stafford, he goes to Barnfields Primary School. He's a footballer and a rugby player, so he likes both codes of, of football. And his favourite players are Tom Pope, John McComb, Louis Dodds, Mark Richards, Carl Fault, him and both lads there. And especially Jack having his photo taken there with his favourite player, Sean Rigg. That's certainly a birthday present that he will remember as Bill will get the photos developed and I'm sure that'll take pride of place on his bedroom Jake Wood just having his picture taken with Tom Pope magical moments for, for any youngster who happens to be a mascot here at Vale Park and certainly for Jake Wood and Jack Reeves Jones I think they're both birthday presents and certainly they'll be smiling and talking about this oh, for at least oh, ages to come but let's give you the team news. Mickey Adams, Stuart Tomlinson, Adam Yates, Rob Taylor, Anthony Griffith, Gareth Owen, Doug Loft, Mark Richards, Tom Pope, Sean Rigg, Clayton McDonald and Liam Chilvers. Warming the bench are Martin, Dodds, Roberts, McComb and Kosluck. And for Swindon Town, Paolo Di Canio chooses in goal. Wes Fodringham, 7 Paul Caddis, 36 Liam Ridehall. 4, Aidan Flint, 12, Alan McCormack, 12, 24, Jonathan Smith, 8, Simon Ferry, 21, Landy Gabilondo, 10, Matt Ritchie, 33, Jake Jarvis, and 29, Lucas Magira. Rissa, Devere, Connell, Montano, and Karouche make up the Swindon bench. A minute silence, beautifully observed. In honour of the fallen as we approach Remembrance Day. And Port Vale and Swindon Town, supporters alike united in respect. But thoughts now look and turn and look to three points out of this fixture this afternoon. Swindon two places and one point above Port Vale. Port Vale looking to turn Vale Park into a fortress and get three points, but Paolo Di Canio has got them playing in a very, very competent, able fashion. He'll like to play it on the floor, Paolo Di Canio. And equally, if Vale can find the form they had against Northampton a couple of weeks ago. We were three up in 27 minutes. Playing some beautiful football. But if you want to get up there, you've got to beat the best. You've got to compete with the best. And we're certainly in for an afternoon's 
entertainment here at Vale Park this afternoon. As always, we've got John Murray on camera and myself, Mike Mackey, Richie Burgess. Rich, good crowd. Should be an entertaining game. Three points at stake and just two places separating the two teams. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's all there for the taking. And uh, say there's uh, two teams at the top who seem to have broken away a little bit, but there's that third spot that's uh, just, you know, it's, it's a win and a half away, really. Uh, and quite a few teams up you know up there for it so uh, today we've got two uh, with one one showing better form than the other um, but hopefully there'll be some fireworks today well Tom Pope playing a lovely path into the direction of Adam Yates his cross just cut out by Matt Ritchie and the pass going just a little bit wayward from Paul Caddis, the captain of Swindon Town. Rig, Anthony Griffith stabs on over the top. Fodringham. Fodringham sends it down the left as Swindon attack the by cars in the first half. Sean Rigg with oh, the bounce just takes the ball away from him. Swindon coming forward. Caddis. Oh. Well, he's kept it in. There's a big shout there. He's got the cross in. And an easy one for Gareth Owen to put into the Lawn Street. Side there against two Swindon players. Swindon winning the aerial battle at the back, clearing the decks. Owen. Well, number four, Aidan Flint, who's going to be about seven feet tall. I'm looking down on you from our little position here at the on the Cavalier Gantry. Rob Taylor being forced back. Gareth Owen, good play from Swindon. Gareth Owen under pressure quickly from Magira. Tomlinson clears it upfield. Tom Pope. Nice touch from Sean Rigg. Tom Pope needs. Oh, setting up nicely. Mark Richards, Swindon on the back foot. And the chance out of nothing, really. Tom Pope didn't get a good connection on that, but. He rode his look. Mark Richards, the captain, just leaned back a little bit. Good, Rich, good chance. Deserved the goal, really. Yeah, it was great vision from Tom Pope. Uh, he showed some good drive to get, you know, just uh, work his way forward. And I, th I thought the ball was quite measured, actually. It was uh, un unfortunate. Uh, Mark Richards uh, held back that little bit. It, you know, perfect timing. It's, it's, it's just a shame about the finish. Well, it should give the lads confidence. Swindon put the pressure on again. Gareth Owen. Look at this from Tom Pope. 
Well, a late tackle by Anthony Griffith. He held his hands up straight away. Cadis, the captain, getting involved. And number 24, Jonathan Smith. No harm done. He trots back and takes up his position centre field. And Gareth Owen just places the ball. Mickey Adams shouting orders out just below us. And he's leaving it for Liam Chilvers. He slips over. Owen was the target man, too much height. Goes Rob Taylor. Throwing again. Paul Caddis. Swindon breakaway. Gabilondo. Good ball in. Good clearance by Clayton McDonald, but what a threat. Lucas Magira sliding in, but the pace of Lander Gabalondo just undoing Vale down the right channel. Corner ball to the visitors. And the Swindon Town fans in fine voice. Bit of pushing and shoving. The referee spotted it. Free kick to Port Vale. Well, the referee's just caught number 10, Matt Ritchie, with his outstretched arm. He's just giving himself a telling off, as Mr Sheldrake. No harm done, Matt Ritchie laughing about that. Well, I'm baffled by that one. And the referee. I think that's his second warning, Rich. I saw nothing wrong with that. Oh, well, he, uh, he got a fair bit of the ball there. So I think Anthony Griffith on his last warning. Richie Tomlinson tracked it all the way. And Lucas Magira doing something I've not seen for a long time, which was just stand in front of Stuart Tomlinson. And Tomlinson had just taken the applause of the crowd because he spotted Sean Rigg. Tremendous length with the with the kick. It's a beaten the defender and just got ahead on it. Vale with the corner. Dugloff to take. Vale fans on the edge of the seats. Paul Lash prime to uh, play Glad all over. A bit more height on that, Doug, on this one. Griffith. Good chance on the half volley. Goal kick is the... Outcome, but this game wide open at the moment. Vale just ahead with two good chances to the one Swindon chance. Nil-nil, ten minutes. 
Paolo Di Canio. Well, Anthony Griffith again. Matt Ritchie was holding his head. And then quickly getting up. Good play off Doug Loft. Good turn. Good football. This is more like it. Good applause from the, the fans. Richie hits the four again, but no one fouled him. Vale get a throw in. Quickly taken. Gareth Owen. Liam Chilvers. Clayton McDonald. Swindon closing down very quickly. Nicely done. Rob Taylor. Beautiful play. And it deserves the applause that the football Port Vale are playing at the moment. Swindon breaking the attack down and starting to build themselves. Jonathan Smith lays it out wide. Gabilondo drifts inside. He's going to have a fire here. Tomlinson took the sting out of the shot. Adam Yates plays it up to the halfway line. And a foul on Mark Richards by Alan McCormack. Rob Taylor. Good ball in. Oh, just wanted someone to throw themselves in. Great ball off to Rob Taylor. Ghosted past Smith. Played the ball in. Goal kick again. Quickly taken. Clayton McDonald. Doug Loft. Sean Rigg. Needs support. Being forced wide. Matt Smith. Matt Ritchie, I do apologise. Takes the ball. Off him. Richards. Great playoff, Rico. Good spot from Sean Rigg. First time ball from Gareth Owen. Rob Taylor turning Richie. Didn't get it past Paul Caddis, the skipper. Caddis. Owen stopped the initial ball. Rob Taylor. Wins the throw in. Oh, nicely done by Caddis. Finding Ferry. throw in quickly off the line is Stuart Tomlinson Paolo Di Canio just starting to get animatedly Italian down there in his technical area
Swindon. Bossing it around at the back. Doug Loft nips in. Regains possession for Port Vale. Gareth Owen back to Tomlinson. Good ball up. Mark Richards, terrific chest control. Rob Taylor, infield ball. Tries to skip it to Sean Rigg. Vale back in possession. Ferry going forward. Matt Ritchie chases. Liam Chilvers just shields the ball, gets it back to Stewart. First time clearance. Doug Loft awarded the free kick. Foul by number 21, Gabalondo. Rich, this has got a feel of a cup tied to it, and we don't sort of host Grimsby Town till next Saturday in the first round of the FA Cup. Cracking game. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's got the potential of getting better. I mean, both sides are really going for it. Uh, I mean... Uh, <laughs> Doug Loft, a half clearance from Swindon Town. Doug Loft on it like a shot, and the keeper motionless. And I think breathing a sigh of relief as that ball whistled past the outside of the post. Still nil-nil, but a good game, Rich. Good game. Yes, I mean, uh, well, like I said a second ago, I mean, uh, we're only about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes into the game, we've seen sort of five or six very, very good chances. I mean, most of them have fallen to the veil, but uh, Swindon are driving forward. As, as soon as they got, you know, half a yard, they, you know, they're, you know, they're pushing forward very directly and uh, they've got some pace with it as well. I was just thinking with Swindon, with Simon Perry, with the number eight shirt. I think he's had a, a haircut dedicated to Paul Gascoigne, circa 1990. Oh, Anthony Griffith. McDonald throws the foot in, saves the day for Port Vale. And Griff, nice play. Sean Rigg, oh, too much pace to to Anthony Griffith, Adam Yates, McDonald, and finally back to Tomlinson. Just touching the heebie-jeebies in the middle there for, for Griff. Well, he'll put it right, Chilvers. McDonald. Perry. Good tackle by Doug Loft. Patient build up at the back for Port Vale. Fans get in just a little bit, I think, nervous. They want Vale to be putting pressure on, but oh, bad ball off Doug Loft, telegraphed by Gabalondo. Swindon probe that ball forward again. Chilvers just nods it back to the keeper, Gareth Owen. Chilvers, Mickey Adams just. Remonstrating with the fans. Sean Rigg. And Rob Taylor, good support. There's a good little battle there going on between Taylor and Ferry.
ref. Lucas Magira took his legs from under him. Referee hasn't said boo to a goose. And yet Griff missed times one tackle. Come on, level playing field. That's my completely unbiased opinion. Griff, Rob Taylor, nicely done. Now it's out. Good ball in the middle of the box. Griff clatters into Jarvis, Jake Jarvis. Silver's good clearing header. Danger's not over yet for Port Vale. Or goes Rig. McDonald. Pope. Beautifully done. And Vale just buying time, regrouping in the centre and playing the ball back to Stuart Tomlinson. Good launch. Rich is the target man. Flint heads it back to the Swindon keeper, Wes Fodringham. Tomlinson again. Chilvers. Too much. A lot of options open for Port Vale there. If they'd have played it through the middle on the floor. As it is, Swindon start their attack. McDonald, Rig. Magira, Gabalondo cuts inside. He's going to tee this up. 1 0. It's number 29, Lucas Magira. Runs straight to Paolo Di Canio. He takes the applause. Good play down the right channel. Vale, though. Just guilty of not closing the ball down. The Swindon fans you see there on screen, absolutely delighted so far at making the journey up here to Burslem. Paolo Di Canio, the happier manager of the two, as Lucas Magira makes it 1-0 to the visitors. Vale just not getting hold of the ball. Swindon playing it around with ease, but we get it back. Rob Taylor, Sean Rigg, Griff stabs it forward. Just misplaced it there. McDonald towards Loft. 
There's no way Doug Loft is going to outjump Aidan Flint. Flint's got a three-foot start before he's even sprung up off his heels. What a throw into the visitors. Port Vale have now got to raise the game. Mickey Adams, I think, has just told a few players that. Richie back to Flint. And Flint finding right hall. Quickly taken, Sean Rigg. Gareth Owen. Mark Richards just losing out. Swindon wanting the advantage played. Yet again, Paul Caddis getting it over to the referee and offering a, an opinion. I don't understand why they do that, Rich. They've got the free kick. Why does the captain then have to, when he's been nowhere near the incident, have to go and try and influence the referee? Ah, oh, no, he was. He, uh, it's a bit. It's a bit silly, really. But I think he felt uh, he'd got the advantage and uh, say it's it's any excuse to have a have a pop at the referee at the end of the day. Well, this ball's still up for grabs. Gareth Owen clears the danger. And Swindon still in possession. Richie. Left foot ball in. Stuart Tomlinson quite happy as that just went round the outside of the players. Tom Pope just caught. Well, the incident didn't happen there, that's for sure. Sean Rigg. Still Rigg. Loft, Yates, chips it in. McDonald! Oh, great half volley. Would have been a deserved equaliser, but Fodringham just quickly away to his right. But the right response, Rich. Yeah, I mean they've uh, they've just they looked a little bit uh, off off colour for a, a few minutes after Swindon scored, but they, they seem to have put that behind them and they've uh, they've moved forward and they've been quite positive. I think it's better when they start to play the ball on the floor instead of all the long ball stuff. They are more than capable of playing pretty football, and I think that's what you've got to do to probably get past this Swindon team. Mickey Adams just in conversation with Mark Grew and Jeff Horsfield. He's seen something he doesn't like. Good pressure, persistent pressure from Port Vale. Win them a throw in. One fan's just fallen over the seats there. I hope the seat's not damaged. They're very expensive. To Tom Pope. Oh, good ball in from Tom. Swindon clear it though, only as far as Rob Taylor. Anthony Griffith. Sean Rigg. Griff again. Swindon force Vale back to Gareth Owen. Still Owen. Doug Loft. Mark Richards. I think it was Gabby Londo who slid in there and... Stopped Mark Richards from unleashing a left foot shot. And Anthony Griffith with a full-blooded... Tackle to deny Richie, who'd gone past two Vale players. And the ball ending up in the back of the seed stand. The launched at the Hamill Road. 
Fodringham gets his underweight. Nicely done. Gareth Owen stabs it forward. Chilvers, I think, just being told by Magira that his shirt looks better out than in. That's why we got the free kick. Owen plays it up. Well, Richards, nice control to bring it on the floor. And Griff finding Clayton McDonald in space. McDonald plays it into the box. Swindon clear the danger. A good one from Rob Taylor. He'll get a second chance. Chips it into the hole. Caddis puts it out for another throw in. Mark Richard can keep this in, he gets the cross in. Tom Pope, great save from Fodringham. Great skill from Tom Pope. Well, let's give some credit there to Mark Richards who just ran the extra yard there just to keep that ball in and get the cross in first time. Good goalkeeping, stops the equaliser for Port Vale. Doug Loft though, keep the pressure on. Swindon clear the decks. Gabalondo, nicely done. Adam Yates just switches. Nicely held by Paolo Di Canio, quickly taken. Yates, Chilvers, Taylor the target man. Richie easily just nipping in there. And Jake Jarvis. I think the ref's going to ask him for an autograph. I used to wait for a bus that was later than that. Vale wanting this ball played into the box. Sean Rigg. Vale doing a lot of work. Good ball over. Good flick down. Caddis keeps it in. Swindon breaking forward. Flick to Stuart Tomlinson. We've got to look for Mark Richards. Adam Yates not wearing the jetpack. Liam Rydall 
quite happy to let the ball go out. Rob Taylor, sharp and take a breath. But tackle firmly and fairly. Swindon come away with it. Doug Loft with the acrobatics in the Vale area, but the pressure's still on. De Canio urging them to play that ball in. Too much pace. Adam Yates should just let this run out. Right down by Vale's own corner flag between the Aliyah stand and the Green King IPA. Getting some decent yardage. Cormac. Well, we should get a corner. And that's deliberately kicking the ball away. It might sound a bit harsh to Aidan Flint, but he's deliberately kicked the ball away. The linesman had flagged, the ref had blown the whistle. Silly boy. And here we go again. Paul Caddis just having a word with the referee. <laughs> Doug Loft, good distance. Rob Taylor. His head slumped as soon as he'd hit that ball. Good effort though, nevertheless. Still 1-0 to Swindon. Tom Pope with some great skill. Taylor just didn't see the ball as it whistled past him. Chilvers, McDonald, Tomlinson with the route one clearance. Flint. Owen playing it into the right areas. No one there. Richie. Caddis into the hole. Lewis chases. Taylor, Griff, Adam Yates free if McDonald can spot him, instead finds Doug Loft. Back to Tomlinson, Swindon quickly closing down, nullifying any attacking threat or advantage their opponents may want to try and get. And Griff heads it clear, Swindon at the back calmly just bring it back on the floor. Caddis looking for options, Gareth Owen. In goes Griff. Nicely done. Doug Loft. Cuts it back. Sean Rigg. Turns his man. Loft throws a leg out. And plays it to Rob Taylor. In come the heads. Swindon. Come away with the ball. Loft. Just gets a foot in there. Yates. Tom Pope. Still poked to the byline. Good cross in. Fodringham cancels the attack out. Swindon breathe a sigh of relief. Vale just given the heart momentarily. McDonald, good distance. 
Norwich is not interfering with play, allows the ball to go past him. Cadis back to his keeper. McDonald just being backed into by Magira. Correct decision. It's a long way down from uh, Mike McDonald's point of view. Up go the heads. Still Taylor. Nicely done, made time. Owen. Griff. Sold it short, gets a chance to put it right. Swing and clear it again. Chilvers. McDonald. And back to Tomlinson. Ferry, Cadis. And all the way back to Stuart Tomlinson. Griff. Quick football, it's all triangles, Vale in possession. Anthony Griffith, crowd getting just a little bit impatient. Rig makes up some good yardage to make up for his mistake. Good applause from the, the fans. Tom Pope. A bit of frustration creeping in. Fodringham. Find the pass to Tom Pope. Cadis up through the gears. Three in the box. Nice little overlap. The shot coming in. Vale throwing bodies in there. The ball, anyone's for the taking. Doug Loft with a half clearance. Rydall plays it in again. McDonald misses out. Up goes Gareth Owen. Sean Rigg back in defence there, helping out. Chilvers. Rigg finally over his head, finding Tom Pope. Doug Loft. Anthony Griffith. And that is a foul. Quickly taken. Rolling ball. That's OK. Play on. Sean Rigg just didn't quite bring that ball down under control. Richie. Gareth Owen. With time to pick his man. Tom Pope. Nicely brought down. Doug Loft. Sean Rigg. Oh, Yates. The target man on the fourth official. Mr. Hussein. As indicated, there'll be a minimum of two minutes to play in this first half. An enthralling game of football. Swindon taking the lead through Lucas Magira. And Port Vale with good chances of their own. And I think enough for Mickey Adams to just tell them where to tweak things so they can get back on level terms. But as entertaining a game of football, I think you'll have seen here at Vale Park, even though... We're 1-0 behind at the moment. Tom Pope. Goes for the header in, Rob Taylor. Griffith, well, Vale got a bit of rub of the green there. 
Gareth Owen. Sean Rigg. Oh, <laughs> Number eight, Simon Ferry, just, just pinching at the odd yard or two. say apart from a slight breeze around Vale Park the weather very agreeable but the referee decides that after 47 minutes it's 1-0 at half time to Swindon Town can Vale pull anything back out of this game we'll find out after the break welcome back to the second half two changes by Mickey Adams Gary Roberts, Gary Roberts on to try and unlock the door which Swindon have bolted firmly shut on the Port Vale attack. So Roberts on for the second half and also Rob Kosluck on for Clayton McDonald. Sean Rigg is the player leaving in place of for Gary Roberts. And we've also got number 39, Karouche. And it's Jake Jarvis, number 33, going off for Swindon. Doug Loft, Anthony Griffith. Chilvers. That's his intended pass, easily cut out by Richie. Caddis. Oh, penalty given. Adam Yates, a judge to have fouled Lucas Magira. Harsh. And the substitutes first. Rolled as he comes on for the second half here at Vale Park. Mady Karouche has to place the ball and hopefully get on the score sheet for Swindon Town. Stuart Tomlinson, though, stands between him. Vale nil, Swindon one. The penalty could make it two. Straight in the top corner. A harsh decision, but sometimes they're given, sometimes they're not. And Adam Yates is not by nature. Mickey Adams, arms folded. Paolo Di Canio, just probably shouting Molto Benny. He wants his team talking. And Vale. Now with it all to do, but belief, professionalism, certainly not the way to start your second half. Quick feet from Ferry, nice footwork, Richie fires one, just snatched at it. Goal kick. 
Rich, harsh decision, but beautifully taken penalty. It was well taken, I must say. Uh, but like you say, I agree with you. I thought it was a little bit harsh. I mean, uh, Yates was, was was trying to was trying to get at the ball, and just uh, in, in this day and age, it seems to be any contact from behind, and that's it. It's a it's a, it's a penalty. It's a shame, but uh, say that's that's the way of the world. I'm afraid. Richie. Yates with the clearance. Tom Pope. And Gary Roberts. With the chance to hopefully send one of these pinpoint crosses instead. Squares it to Owen. To Kozluk. To Roberts. Now he's got space to pick a spot. Oh, nicely done, found Mark Richards. Adam Yates back to Gary Roberts. Dinks one in, beautifully done. Doug Loft lays it back, Anthony Griffith. Adam Yates, now the cross comes in. Good shot off Tom Pope. No trouble to the keeper. But straight away, Gary Roberts involved in two moves there. And Vale putting pressure onto the Swindon Town goalkeeper. This is more like it, boys. Keep it up. Cormac, nicely cleared by the keeper. Mm -hmm. Well, the ref just given a, a lenient view there, Gary Roberts. Just stabs that ball forward, inch perfect pass. Rob Taylor. Tom Pope. Kozluk. Loft. Up goes Roberts. This is anyone's ball at the moment, not pretty, but 29, Magira with the overhead kick. Kozluk, Rob Taylor, still Taylor, and that's the Swindon throwing. Rich, you just made a comment off, off shot there. When that ball goes in the middle, Vale aren't competing after that ball. They're quite happy to let it bounce and see where it lands. Yeah, it's a, I don't know, there just seems to be some gaps between midfield and defence, midfield and attack. You know, it's, a, it's it, the game's quite spread out I mean the, the veil defence seems rather deep and you know the uh, attack is quite high and this just seems to be the large gaps and uh, there ought to be some players trying to fill them I know it's awkward in a game like this but uh, they're going to have to just uh, tighten up a little bit well Gareth Owen heads it back to Stuart Tomlinson Tomlinson route one up go the heads Tom Pope just using McCormack as a springboard Roberts wins it back. Oh. Ref just denies the pass from Griff to Doug Loft. Doug Loft, Gary Roberts. Short ball to Owen. Sometimes that's all it takes to just start a move instead of trying for the killer ball. Just keep the oh, look at that from Roberts. Picking Doug Loft out. Loft getting the ball back. Good tenacity. Rico just loses out. Swindon start to build again. 
Ricanio telling these lads where they want the ball playing. Well, that's a curious one there from Jonathan Smith. Well, with the Olympics not so long away, I've got to say, Aidan Flint there, giving Tom Daly a run for his money. Good grief. Man up. I know it's a different game, the players are more... Oh. Richie. He's done well. Perry. Griff. Gary Roberts, Adam Yates. Tomlinson, see again. Swindon closing down. Karouche, scorer of the second goal. Just closing down on Stewart. It was enough to keep the ball into Vale's own half. The pressure on Port Vale. McCormack. Well, I know with the game at the moment, you know, in the modern day, the players, they're more like athletes. The, the first touch, exquisite at times. But let's not take all the physicality out of the game. It's what makes a good, honest endeavour. You know, as long as the tackles are fair and clean, that's all that matters. But now you've only got to breathe on someone. Very... Well, that ball's still in play. Paul Caddis. Simon Ferry. Kozluk concedes the throw in. Louis Dodds warming up just below us. And then through a full range of exercise. Ferry. Thunderbolt of a shot, whistles over the bar. But Vale, half a yard short, half a yard short. The crowd not happy with it, and certainly the players won't be pleased with this. Mickey Adams must be thinking all the hours they're putting in. On paper, it's all looking good. But Tom Pope, Rob Taylor. Two players shadowing him. Cos look. Adam Yates, corner ball. Cos look left in the centre circle. Everyone else. In and about the area, and it comes to the back post. Rob Taylor. Cannons off one of his own players. Swindon put it into the railway. Ferry. Nicely taken. Gabby Londo, tackle by Owen. Well, 
not the cleanest of clearances. Chilvers. Well, she'll be available. And the gesture from Paolo Di Canio. I think says it all. It's an insult in Italy. But hey ho. Swindon back in possession. And the sun just blocking out there. Anthony Griffith, as we look at Magira, plays it to Gabilondo. And Rydall wins the corner against the outstretched leg of Doug Loft. And we're going to get Louis Dodds coming on to the free. Tricky little ball being played in from Karouche. Louis Dodds just having his boots checked and fourth official making sure that there's enough colours on them. And the referee just checking that that ball is actually, that's better. Even with our limited vision here, we could tell it was out, and it comes. Anthony Griffiths with the clearing header. Carouche will get a second chance on this. Plays it in. And Mark Richards being pulled over as we get a chance to see who will be coming off, and it's Tom Pope making way. Well, some of the fans not happy with it. Local boy Tom Pope. But he's not getting much change out of a fiver today out of Swindon. Louis Dodds, fresh legs, fresh ideas. And of course, Rich, Louis Dodds also with an eye for goal. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he, hasn't, uh, he hasn't played much this season, actually. And uh, I say the, the, the last year or so, he's been more of an impact player. Yeah, he's, he's done well. To substitute so hopefully uh, he's, he's got a bit of sharpness and uh, he's back to doing what, he, what he's been doing over the last few years Gary Roberts Anthony Griffith Louis Dodds nice control Rob Taylor released in space Swindon though streaming back in numbers Rob Taylor trying to play it in at the back post but Louis Dodds in the reserve matches has been knocking goals in, so maybe this is behind Mickey Adams' train of thought. Adam Yates, easily cut out by Gabalondo. I know we're supposed to have unbiased commentary up here, but come on, what was this about? You know, you know you're getting old when you see decisions like that and you just long for the days when boots were black, numbers were 1 to 11 on the back of the shirt and you could actually tackle firmly but fairly. The players are still the same that way. But they all marvel at the skill. Some things though, common sense just doesn't prevail. But a good battle going on there between Doug Loft, who Richie mentioned just off shot that he's put a shift and off in. And you cannot not agree with that because I think all the players are, are earning the pennies. But Swindon at the moment just seem to want it a bit more. Owen, Tomlinson. Good distance, Dodds the target man.
Rob Karsluck. Taylor thought he could have done better there. Swindon just get on with it. Dodds. Roberts. Nicely done. Doug Loft. Oh, too much of an ass for. Yates. Right intention though. Good quick football in the middle. Dodds. Oh, beautifully done finding Rob Taylor. Great awareness. Taylor. Swindon, though, back very quickly. Taylor to the byline. He wins the corner. That hit Mark Richards on the line. Anthony Griffith. Oh, just tries to dink one over the back of West Fodringham. Goal kick. One back by Port Vale, Adam Yates wanted an option. Gary Roberts plays it simple. Rob Taylor. Simon Ferry, just uh, guilty of unsportsmanship. And Rob Taylor getting told off about it. Now, if I was Gary Roberts, I'd have a dig from here. Richard thinks it's a bit too far out. I'll just remind him, Anthony Griffith, 80 yards the other week. Griffith's a big lad. Gary Roberts. Oh, stung his fingertips. Yeah, you see how he, he ought to floated one in there. <laughs> it was a good effort. It was uh, a bit a bit too straight, really. E easy for the goalie. Well, I, for one, I'm very pleased to see Gary Roberts back on the pitch, which is the home of Pottery's football. I think he just does add another dimension. He just let's marvel at his football skills. I don't think you get to be an England under 18 captain. Doug Loft creating the chance out of nothing. Good play. Fodringham had it covered as it just skimmed past the post. Paolo Di Canio. He's not happy about something. Just look, Paolo, look at the scoreboard. He's doing the movements of YMCA. <laughs> and I think he's going to make another substitution. Rob Taylor. Gary Roberts. Again, the speed with Roberts picks these passes. It's releasing Yates. 
Oh, great ball in. Mark Richards a split second behind the pass. Well, they're creating chances, Rich. Yeah, I mean, uh, say, in the first half, he, uh, he, he made as many chances as Swindon, but uh, I say, uh, it's the old sucker punch. But uh, in the second half, it's, it's taken them a while to, to, to get into the game, but say, the, they've made some pretty good chances, especially in the last 10 minutes or so. Well, you're playing in the game like that myself yesterday. So, <laughs> <laughs> We were, the team I was on were by far the better looking, the better skillful. But every time we had a shot, it went wide. And every time that the team that, oh, Richie was on. Hence the 37-0 scoreline, I think. But Port Vale at the moment still battling. That's what you want. You want to feel that if they've given the rule, some days it just doesn't happen. Louis Dodds. Good header on target, no force behind it. Certainly they've got to get just a, at least a consolation goal. There's 20 minutes left plus any stoppage time at the moment. Griff. Available. Just hits Perry. Uh, Ferry, sorry, Simon Ferry. We're going to get Oliver Rissa onto the field. And it's number 24, Jonathan Smith makes way. Can you work out the reasoning behind that? I can't work out any reason. But... Uh, Could be. Oh, quick feet from Adam Yates. Roberts blocked out of the way. And Anthony Griffith. A measured pass back to Stuart Tomlinson. And Rob Taylor holds off the challenge. Oh. Was there a handball? Rob Taylor seemed to think so. Oliver Rissa for his first touch. Well, it set up the attack. Kozluk wins the throw in. And 4,961 here at Vale Park. With an entertaining game, two goals to the visitors. Lucas Maguera in the first half and an early penalty scored by the substitutes with his second touch. Mady Karouche. But Port Vale creating chances. They're just not getting the rub of the green. Just a measured balls there from Gary Roberts. Wins it back for Port Vale. Easy ball to Griff. They still need options. Again, Swindon though. Blocking any avenue for a shot to goal. Taylor drifts inside. Back post. Swindon with the danger. Griff. Thought about the volley. Swindon clear it only as far as Chilvers. Chilvers appeals to handball against Risa. Ref's having none of it, and quite rightly. Richie. Oh. 
And Gareth Owen. Well, Lucas Magira. That time I've got to concede he was he was fouled. Back on his feet. That's the main thing. Gareth Owen in the book. Karush. Side netting, goal kick to Port Vale. Joe Devere, Alan Connell, Christian Montano. The three remaining subs for Swindon. Only one of them, if Paolo decides to bring one of them on, can actually come and enjoy the the pitch here at Port Vale, beautifully repaired and prepared by Steve Speed after every home game. Louis Dodds to Taylor, still Rob Taylor. Oh, good bit of defending by Paul Caddis. Forced him into the error. Anyone watching who wants to be a defender, that's how to do it. Good play for number seven, excellent play. Gabby Londo just getting some orders off his manager on the left channel. As we look at Fodringham, who gets us into play again. Good flick on by Rico. Gabby Londo. Yates throws a leg out. And we look at Karush. Oh, Roberts just too far in front of Kozluk. Taylor though gets it back for Port Vale. Roberts. Again, just the deftest of touches. But finds his man. Swindon though. Two players there just crowding and thwarting the move. Swindon crowd in Port Vale in their own half. Louis Dodds with the flick on. Gary Roberts chases. Griff gets it back again. And he's just been caught there. Griff just getting slowly to his feet. Risa Cadis turns his man nicely. Cause look to Owen. And back to Stuart Tomlinson. Roberts stabs it out to Rob Taylor. Cause look. Gets the cross in. Swindon though, first to the ball. And that's really been the signature move of, of Swindon. Gabalondo just stumbles over himself. No penalty given. Mickey Adams just urging the boys on. Rich, I know it's they're 2-0 down, but Mickey Adams must be, after the penalty, Port Vale have got more and more into this game. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it, it took them a few minutes. I mean, they, they were shell shocks, obviously, you know, uh, straight after the uh, kick off of the second half to concede that penalty. But they've just got stronger and stronger, and uh, they do look much better value now. It's just unfortunate they can't seem to get a. Well, I'll say that they haven't actually got a shot on target in the second half, apart from the free kick from Guy Robertson, as I can recollect, but they've looked a lot more dangerous in that final ball into the box. Absolutely. Well, third and final substitution by Paolo Di Canio for his Swindon team. It's number 17, Alan Connell. Coming on for Landa Gabalondo. Too much pace on that from Kozluk to Taylor. Takes the return. Chilvers chases the, the resulting clearance from Gareth Owens' attempted pass. Vale build up again. Good play off Rico, but Gary Roberts just beaten to it. Richie Caddis. Swindon chasing the third. Ten minutes to go. Cadiz takes it into the good persistence there. From Kozluk. Quickly taken. Gary Roberts. Chilvers. Well, desperate at some too much pace. Good idea. Making good space, but, uh, Gary Roberts. Swindon closing him down quickly. Chilvers. Connell, Ferry. Oh, great play. Swindon just teeing up. Right, the ball finally. As Lucas Magira hit the left foot shot, the cries went up for penalty. Vale calmly just kept cool heads. Cleared the ball, but Swindon back in possession. Connell. Richie. We've got Oliver Rissa down on the floor. Connell. And the 
referee just having a word with the number 13. Louis Dodds. Oh, just Richards, Loft, Swindon, two, four, six, and eight players behind the ball. Very quickly, Louis Dodds. Good shot on target, but as been the case and the storyline so far, not enough power rich to trouble Fodringham. Yeah, I mean, they've uh, closed the game down in effect. I mean, uh, say uh, every, every time that, it, you know, six to eight people in the box, and uh, it's, it's very hard to break them down. Well, a push in the back there on number 12, Alan McCormack. Linesman had his flag up. And Paolo Di Canio, very animated, but in a stylish way, which is what you'd expect from Swindon's flamboyant Italian manager. It's much better than watching a robot, isn't it? He's passionate about the game. Yeah, I mean, he, he, could, he could be in the theatre, really, couldn't he? <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> Good tackle off Yatesy. Chilvers skillfully playing his way out. Taylor, Gary Roberts. <laughs> Doug Loft. Mark Richards. Roberts. Takes the short ball off Taylor. Plays it in. Yates are waiting to pounce. Swindon clear the decks. Chilvers over the top. No one moves. Goal kick. 86 minutes on the scoreboard. And the Robins certainly sitting pretty there behind. Stuart Tomlinson, as he's just looking on at Wes Fodringham, his opposite number. Place the ball. Adam Yates, just a judge to have caught 36, Liam Rydall. I certainly hope I'm pronouncing Liam Rydall's name correctly. I don't think he'll mind because he's put a good shift in. It's been a good team performance for Swindon Town. And three points are heading back down the M6. Tom Pope is today's sponsors man of the match. Vergara, Connell. <laughs> Stuart Tomlinson lost his footing as Caruso tried to delicately chip that ball over him. And Louis Dodds. 
Nicely played by Louis Mark Richards. Bundled over by McCormack. Personally, I've got a bonfire to go to. And some class two fireworks. Hot lobby and a few cans of beer just to erase this memory of a home loss this afternoon. We've got FA Cup action next week with the visit of Grimsby Town, non-league. What could possibly go wrong for Port Vale with non-league FA Cup opponents? Rob Taylor, still Taylor. Went it alone, had enough pressure put on him to put him off. Goal kick to the visitors, but good effort by Rob. And I have a feeling, Rich, that uh, they'll be in in the morning to watch a video of this. Yes, I think it's uh, becoming quite a common thing in the last few home games, which is unfortunate. Equ equipment withstanding. They'll get another free kick, quickly taken. Louis Dodds, it's a sea of red in between Louis Dodds and getting this ball into the box. Adam Yates, oh, that's a good one. Over the bar again though, goal kick. We're on 90 minutes. Well, there were three points up for grabs at the start of this match. And there's a minimum of three minutes left to play. And I think I can safely say that the visitors are going to be very happy with the performance this afternoon here at Vale Park. Vale have rallied in the second half. But really, two goals of... I'll dispute the penalty for forever, I think. But uh, Swindon with a good workmanlike performance, but also such good team spirit. They're all working for each other. And the fans will have one very happy journey when they board the coach or if they've made their own way here. They'll just have a really nice journey back to Swindon because that's what it's about. Days away and taking all points and all the spoils back home with you. For Vale, it's back to the drawing board and it's just to hope that other results have gone our way. Richie, Cadis, Gareth Owen. And Gary Roberts urging people on. Griff aware. Connell's behind him. Chilvers. And I think this has been the story of the, the game for me. When Vale have got the ball, Swindon are keeping him in their own half. And you're not going to cause any damage if you're just containing them. Non-stop running, great teamwork, great skill. I'm taking nothing away from Port Vale, but this has been a lesson. Connell. Late corner for Swindon. Well, the referee's decided 2 0's enough. Handshakes down below for Mickey Adams and Paolo Di Canio. 
4,961 have seen an entertaining game of football, but the visitors Swindon Town take with them three vital points in their push for promotion. As I mentioned earlier, Grimsby Town, first round of the FA Cup next Saturday, and we can dream about glory then. But for me, Mike Mackey, Richie Burgess, John on camera, Derrick.